Yo mensen, welkom bij een nieuwe video. En uh, we zijn aangekomen bij een nieuwe reactie. Of uh, Jess reageert op. En um, we zijn aangekomen bij top 5 scary ghost video's that are disturbing. En uh, ja, we gaan kijken. Ik ben benieuwd. Ik heb deze niet gezien, dus um, ik ben benieuwd. Ik ben be heel benieuwd. We hebben hier mijn G-view. Um, van gisteren nog. Uh, ja, met Sanik. Dus we gaan gewoon genieten en uh, we rollen de intro, de dus cyclus bij de video. Oké, okay. we zijn uh, aangekomen bij de video. Ik ben benieuwd. Gaan we gekte meemaken? Weet ik niet. On camera, highway horror. Late one Sunday evening, Mitch Kuhn and his parents are driving down a busy highway near Sydney, Australia, when out of nowhere they have an absolutely unnerving encounter. Mitch captured the hair-raising moment with his dashboard camera. Oh, what the fuck? Mitch explains that he was shot out of nowhere. A child appeared right oh. on the busy highway in front of him. He says that the child looked no older than six and seemed to be wearing a blue coat. Mitch Kuhn's mother quickly Stop. calls the police to warn them about the lost child randomly walking on the highway. After hearing nothing back, 45 minutes later, Mitch calls again to offer his dash cam footage. But the officer on the phone informs him that the child has been found and that the footage isn't needed. Still a kid. And now here's where things get really weird so after being yeah, reassured by the police mitch kuhn believes that the child is safe he posts his dash cam footage to facebook and the video is picked up by the australian national news reporters reach out to the police to get more information and the police deny that they ever found the child they say that they searched the area but no child was found and that there were no reports of missing children in the area So could it be that Mitch captured something paranormal on camera? And why the strange reaction by the authorities? Was it a kid? I'm honestly just not sure. So let me know your thoughts. Like he doesn't kids. Hmm. The Oregon found footage. Misschien is een kind met een eh uh, met een jurk aan hoor. The source has been heavily debated on the internet. In the video, a man shows off his campsite in the woods of Deschutes, Oregon, when later that night, things just go horribly wrong. Oh my God. Some believe that this footage could have been recorded by Jacob Edris. Jacob disappeared in 2017 and was last seen in Eugene, Oregon, after frantically calling his boss about being chased by someone. Others believe that the footage could have been shot by Chase Hove, a young man who also disappeared in 2017. Chase disappeared in the exact same area where this video was recorded. But those are all just theories. Here is the chilling video. All right, well, it may seem like a bit much, but here I am solo camping. This is Deschutes, Oregon. Well, close to Bend, Oregon. I brought the eight person tent or the six person tent. I haven't pulled this thing out in a long time, so I thought first of the season I should pull that out, give it a give it a go. It's about that time. Hi yo. Sun is setting. I think it's about eight o'clock. Dus hij was dan op kamp of na kamp. Hij was aan het kamperen en opeens is hij gewoon verdwenen en gewoon een paar jaar later komt hij weer terug. What the fuck? It should be dark out here in less than an hour. You can get a little bit over there through the trees. Beautiful night. Definitely gonna be turning in early though. Later that night. Later that night. Noises. Yeah, you can hear it stuff from that side. That's 
someone's messing around with the, the rocks out there. Jesus Christ. Leave me alone! Nay. Flashlight. Now I can't see God thing. Oh my god, hij rent dan weg. Jesus Christ. Wat was dat? I don't know where the f they chased me off. Now I'm wandering. The god darkness. Ik zeg het niet altijd alleen in het bos man. Vooral niet in het donker, overdag kan nog, maar in het donker nooit alleen in het bos gaan. Je ziet gewoon niks. Dat is gewoon gevaarlijk op een gegeven moment. Wat zit daar tussen? Wc-papier. Oh nee, een briefje. Oh. Someone or something makes an attempt to get inside the man's What? tent. Makes a frantic run for it and forgets. Slender man in real life gek. Holy shit. Blackout the men relies on the infrared feature on his camera. To his horror, whoever was Why, into his tent is now standing right in front of him. And that's where the footage cuts off and the mystery intensifies. Now some claim that the camera was found at the campsite along with his car, his tent, and other valuable belongings. But the mysterious man who recorded it all is said to have disappeared. So whether this footage was recorded by Jacob Idris, Chase Hove, or neither, we'll probably never know. And perhaps the footage is just a huge, elaborate hoax. Real or not, I leave it up to you. Oh, dus hij is nog steeds verdwenen. Ik denk dat hij dan dood is. Ik denk dat hij niet meer leeft. Urban Explorer top 5 van top popular YouTube channel is back for another strange urban exploration. This time Chris travels to Point Pleasant, West Virginia to search out a creepy old tunnel system that is hidden somewhere deep within the woods surrounding the city. Now the small town of Point Pleasant has seen its fair share of tragedy. In 1967, a suspension bridge over the Ohio River, called the Silver Bridge, suddenly and without warning, collapsed under the weight of rush hour traffic. 46 people died in the tragedy, and wow. two of the victims were never even found. The tragic event led to many strange conspiracies and legends as to why the bridge collapsed. You see, Point Pleasant, West Virginia is where the infamous folklore creature, the Mothman, was first ever sighted. There were multiple reports and sightings of a quote, large humanoid moth-like creature that occurred in Point Pleasant throughout 1967. This is the same year the bridge collapsed. Some believe that the mysterious Mothman was a harbinger or even possibly the cause of the bridge collapse. After some scouting, Chris finds the tunnel system and starts his exploration. As he presses forward, exploring deeper and deeper into the tunnels, the water starts to flow more heavily, and the humid fog rising from the stream makes it hard for Chris to breathe. Many miles into the tunnel, it seems that Chris reaches a point that few other people have ever even explored, as there is not even any graffiti on the tunnel walls. And this is when things start to take a terrifying turn. I'm hearing a lot of noises down here. Hopefully that's the end of the tunnel. No, I want to see the end of the tunnel. What? 
Chris hears a chilling sound coming from somewhere in the behind him. He walks back to check it out, but he finds nothing there. Even though Chris is a little shook by what he just heard, he is still determined to press onward to find the end of the tunnel. And then he captures something absolutely terrifying. Oh, kon straks wat uitlemmen op. Oh, the fuck! Oh. Two strange figures can be seen peeking out at Chris before disappearing back into the tunnels. Chris says he could barely see anything through the fog on the water and was unaware of what his camera captured at the time. He says that he simply continued down the tunnel and never saw anything that could explain what he had filmed. So what do you think is going on here? Could these mysterious figures have anything to do with the countless Mothman sightings in Point Pleasant? As always, I leave it up to you to decide. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok user DarkSecret37 is a mother from the Philippines currently living in Japan with her two sons. One evening in the spring when the Sakura trees are in full bloom, the two boys make a video with one of their friends filming. What happens next? Is truly bizarre. Waarom zou eigenlijk een riool in wil gaan? En mijn moeder belt. Kut. Hallo? Wat is het? Ja, Nikita gaat bij uh, Sophie slaan. Ja, ze wil al eerder komen, maar. Uh, toen zei ze opeens, ja, papa en mama kunnen het wel brengen. Wat zijn jullie aan het doen dan? Oh. Hoe laat ben je hier dan? Oh. Dus ben, ben ik al weg of niet? Ja, boys zijn nu in Emmen. Dus moet ik even wachten met eten bestellen dan? Nee, ik wou dan eigenlijk gewoon even voor mezelf een pizza halen. Want ik weet niet of jullie er wel zijn. Ja, oké. Okay. Ja, maar ik weet niet of jullie wel... Uh, ik weet niet hoe jullie laatjes zijn. Ja, anders bestel ik wel gewoon pizza, joh. Ja, is goed. Ja. Maar uh, vind je goed dat ik dan gewoon pizza bestel dan? Of moet ik even wachten op jullie? Want ik weet niet hoe laat jullie thuis komen, dus. Uh... Nou, is goed. En dan eet ik morgen wel weer samen. Ja. Nou. Doeg. Doeg. Oké, okay. um, we zijn er weer. Alleen, uh, ja, mijn moeder belde. Maar, uh, 
Waarom zal jij in een, een riool willen lopen? Ik snap dat niet helemaal. Het is mooi om te zien, maar... Ja, weet niet. Zal je daar nou echt wel rondlopen in het donker? Het is zo wel donker, dus... Maakt niet uit als je daglicht in gaat. Oh. Did you see it? Yeah, I'm saying that. Wraps around one of the boy's legs. The guy who's recording is shocked and hurries over to inspect the area around the two boys. But there's nothing and no one there. Some Japanese TikTok commenters believe that long ago someone was buried on the spot where the Sakura tree now stands and that the restless spirit tried to reach out to the children, literally. But what do you think this creepy hand could be? Is it real or just an elaborate hoax? You decide. TikTok user Rachel Howard from Phoenix, Arizona is filming a quick little video to show off her brand new TV. But later she realizes that she captured something truly disturbing. I got my TV up luggy. Oh wait. You know how long this took? To build the A dark humanoid figure seems to be standing over Rachel in the reflection on her TV screen. When she moves closer, whatever it is seems to dart away and just disappear. So did Rachel capture something paranormal by accident? You tell me. I got my TV up, Luggy. You see him, Nita. Fuck it up. The presence. Tommy Wells from Rockwood, Tennessee claims that paranormal activity surrounded him for years, even following him from home to home. But the terrifying events have now begun to affect his wife Leslie and their three children. The family has heard loud, hoof-like footsteps in the house. Objects move on their own. And Leslie has even found unexplained bruises all over her body. One night they begin to hear strange sounds again. They record it all with their newly purchased camera. What happens next is downright creepy. I said we've moved four or five thousand times. It keeps following us. No matter where we go, it keeps following us. Uh, I, I don't know. We we live somewhere for two, maybe three months, and it happens right back again. Water pressure's quitting. It's what? Water system. What's wrong with the water? God, I just filled the cup up. I don't know. It just quit. It's called quit. What? Honey. What is going on? Everything in the old pretty place is just dead. What is wrong with the microwave? What the? What's wrong with the microwave? Hoort hij nou serieus een, een, een plastic beker in een magnetron? Dat, dat kan toch niet? Dat, die warmte kan dat toch niet meer aan? <laughs> What the fuck? Maar ja, het zal misschien aan mij liggen. Oh my god. Water's quit again. This is the out of here. It's crazy as f. Well, f somebody f with me now, god damn it. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. What is. What the f? What is that? Tommy. What the f? What the f? 
Use that, Tommy. Let's get the out of here. Let's, let's go. Let's get the out. ain't leaving. I'm getting the out of this goddamn house is what I'm doing. The water pressure in the house inexplicably drops. The microwave flickers and dies, and the piano in the living room makes a noise. But scariest of all, heavy clomping footsteps can be heard slowly moving towards the family. That's when they decide to just get out of there. Cut to another day, and Tommy and his family are back in their home to celebrate his daughter's birthday. The girl's cousins, aunt, uncle, and parents have all gathered in the kitchen as the excited girl is served her birthday cake. Unfortunately, this will not be a happy birthday. Oh, that was well, Sheila. Birthday party, and everyone at it. There's Brianna, her little cousin. There's Haley, her other cousin. And there's her daddy, Tommy. Hello. And here's her aunt Misty. And here's her uncle Joey. What up with it? What up with it? Alrighty, let's go with this. Daddy Without lighting the, the candles. Things, so we can get you this cake on cake. Alright, <laughs> I ruined the camera. Cutting the cake. Cutting the cake. Oh, y'all can't do more, you know. Ruined the camera. Oh, camera. Oh, oh, the camera. Oh, oh, maar dat is wel zielig. Dus ga gewoon een verjaardag gaan doen en dan gaat dit weer gebeuren. Dat is wel zielig. Oh, maar dat is, dat is wel echt zielig. Ja, dat is wel echt zielig. Oh. Terrifying paranormal activity disrupts the happy. Ja, dat is wel echt zielig voor die uh, kleine. The family feels that the unexplained events have gotten completely out of control and plan to do a seance together in hopes of ridding the home of whatever is haunting them. It did not go well. Oh, wow. Well. You guys can do the seance, I'm not doing it. I'll sit hey, you can sit in there with us and do it, dude. You can no, sit in there with us no, and help us, man. No. Well, it's supposed to be four people with a seance anyways, I mean... Wow. Was die ene guy? Die is gewoon weggerend. Here, 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 let me see, 
Did you cut or you hurt? No. Thomas. Yes. Thomas. <laughs> Wait, go on, Lester. Go, 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 go. go, go. Wait a minute. Let's, come on, man. Bring the cameras. Get out. Come on. Oh, Frank, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Take us off. Take us off. Shot it under there. Shot it under there. Shot it under the bed. Shot it under the bed. See, there's got to be something here. Huh. Look. God, there ain't nothing. Check it out, Jacob. Get this off of me. Let's get it going. Let's get it. God. Yeah, guys, come on. Let's get it. Go, go, go. Move, move, move. move. As the family begins the seance, a bed moves on its own. Even though family member Jacob is sitting right on top of it, Jacob jumps up in fear, but the bed still continues to move. The water faucet then turns on by itself. But what truly seems to terrify them all is that blood seems to drip down from the ceiling and lands on Tommy's wife's hand. Oh. Tommy believes that something demonic and evil has attached itself to his family. But what happens next will forever remain a mystery. Because, you see, these videos were posted to YouTube over 10 years ago. Oh wow. No that, yeah. The, the, the that's not cool with the quality on. The quality is on beach left. To a new home. Tommy's son has shared that the paranormal activity has calmed down a lot since then. And has never returned to being as extreme as it is in these videos. So are these clips proof of poltergeist activity? Because the girls at the birthday party certainly seem legitimately freaked out. So either the family experienced real poltergeist, or I don't think the kids were in on the plan. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks once again for watching. My upload nice. schedule is borked. So please subscribe and hit <laughs> borked. Oké, okay. um, ja, het was een leuk, uh, leuk video. Met die snelweg, dat is heel raar. Ik weet niet wat dat was, maar volgens mij, ja, van mij was dat misschien een kind. Um, de tweede met, um, met die tent, dat was ook heel raar. Dat is heel raar. Ik, ik snap zo niet waarom je in, alleen in het bos gaat. Uh, en gewoon mensen met z'n tweeën of zo. Um, ja, voor de rest um, waren er wel echt twee raden erbij. Dat was die, um, die riool en bij die boom. En die tv, dat was ook nog een dingetje. Um, maar de laatste, die eerste, dat was, uh, die was nog wel interessant, maar ook heel raar. Alleen ja, het is wel zielig met, uh, met die feestje, want ze willen daar gewoon een feest vieren. Van uh, uh, een dochter. En dan begint gewoon, gewoon dat raar ding weer te gebeuren. Dus ja, het is op zich gewoon best wel zielig. Maar goed, um, leuk. En uh, ja, ik hoop dat er bij de volgende video uh, weer wat interessante komen. Ik zeg bedankt voor het kijken. Vergeet niet te abonneren en like te doen. Ik zie jullie graag weer bij een uh, nieuwe video. En dan... Um, ja, gaan we kijken wat er, uh, wat er gaat gebeuren. Jongens, bedankt voor het kijken. Vergeet niet een like te doen, te abonneren. En dan uh, zie ik jullie graag weer bij een nieuwe video. En dan uh, zien we wel uh, wat er gaat gebeuren. Dus uh, tot de volgende keer. Bye bye.